All right, friends, we are still working with those open syllables. So we've talked about closed syllables where there's a consonant that comes after the vowel and it closes off the sound that that vowel can make. So it only can make its short sound. Our CVC words, consonant, vowel, consonant, met. But if I take that T off, if I don't have a T there, then it leaves the space after the E open. It's an open space after the E, and then the E can say its full name. It makes that strong, long E sound, me. So we're going to continue adding to our list today. Take out your slates if you haven't done that yet. All right, friends, we are going to be looking at some two-syllable words today. We worked on the one-syllable words before, and now we're going to move on to those two-syllable words. The first word that I have for you to write on your slate is spelled B-A-B-Y. You probably know this word, but we are going to do a little bit of decoding because when you come across words that you don't know in your reading, you have to have a strategy for figuring them out. So the first thing we're going to do is put a dot under those vowels. A is a vowel, and Y at the end of a word is usually a vowel too. And we talked yesterday about the Y being able to make that long I sound, but we said it can also make the sound E when it's at the end of a word. So this word, if I've got two vowels, is probably, and those two vowels are apart, aren't they? It's probably going to be a two-syllable word. I put it in the two-syllable column, but you only had to write the word baby. Here we go. So I put a dot under each vowel. Now, if I were to divide my word between the A and the second B, I would have an open syllable, bay. Let me use a card here to cover that up for you. Bay, by, or B. And they would both be open syllables. So, bay, B. If I had bab, babi, babby, that doesn't make sense, does it? When we have those two vowels and they're apart and there's only one consonant between them. Let's try dividing it before that consonant, after the vowel and before the consonant. It might be a little tricky to see there. Let me make my line a little darker, okay? Then we would have an open syllable bay and an open syllable b, bay b. Now I know that by itself spells by, but we know that that vowel y can make a couple different sounds, can't it? Let's try the next word. Here we go. On your slate, let's write R-O-B-O-T. R-O-B-O-T. Again, many of you probably know this word, but let's mark our vowels. The first vowel is, everybody, O, and the second vowel is O. Are those vowels together or are they apart? Well, they're apart. So I am going, and how many consonants are between them? Just one. So I'm going to try cutting it right between that first vowel and the consonant that follows it. This would be ro, that's an open syllable, ro, and bot, that would be a closed syllable because it's got that T closing off this O. It's not rowboat, it's robot because the T closes off that second O, doesn't it? Robot. And in our last word for the day, this is a word that some of you might know, but some may not. This word is, let me move it up for you. I'm going to put it on top of baby here. This word is T I D Y. T-I-D-Y. Mark your vowels. The first vowel is I. The second vowel is Y. And again, I'm going to see what's between those two vowels. The vowels are apart, so I think it's going to be a two-syllable word. Would it be tid-di, tid-di, or tidy? Hmm. Cut it in front of that D, between the I and the D, and I would have the open syllable, tie, and then the open syllable, D, tie, D. And here again, 
that Y is making the E sound. So like I told you yesterday, sometimes that Y makes the I sound at the end of words. Sometimes it makes the long E sound on the, at the end of a word or at the end of a syllable as well. So our words for today are baby, robot, tidy. Now, why do we need to know where to cut our words into syllables? Well, one, it helps us decode our words, but two, if we are writing and we come to the end of a line and we would have to um, kind of cut a word in half to move part of that word down to the next line, we always divide those words where there would be a syllable division. So for a few people who are ready to do that in their writing or need to do that in their writing, um, if you have to cut a word to make it, part of it go on to the next line, we always divide it where there's a natural syllable division. So go ahead and look for those open and closed syllables in your words. The next video that we have is going to talk about those different types of syllables as well. So you're going to see some words like this where we have open and closed syllables within the same word. Kind of cool.